If you guys remember last week, we talked about how the Nintendo Switch Lite had an apparent drifting issue. The same drift that has happened on all of the Joy-Cons and all of that. That Joy-Con drift action because the sticks seem to be designed exactly the same as the sticks inside the original Switch and even the revised Switch. The one that comes in the red box, not the original box Switch, which is going to be harder and harder to find uh, the Switch in that particular box as it starts to get phased out. But uh, we talked about how there was a person on YouTube who put up a video clip showing that they were experiencing drift and so it was like, well, maybe the calibration's off overblown one case who really cares well you should start paying attention now because the switch light has now been added to the official class action lawsuit on joy con drift that is currently being filed against nintendo and uh class action lawsuits could go somewhere could not go somewhere but it will force nintendo to have to make a public acknowledgement once everything is officially filed and now there are at least 18 reported cases in the u.s alone uh that might seem like a small number but this is just what are being added to the lawsuit not necessarily how many total cases are out there uh let's actually take a look at this because i got this information from nintendo life again and X Excellent website. Let's take a look. All right, so so switch I added to the Joy-Con Drift class action lawsuit. Users report issues with no uh, not long after release. Uh, the switch light may have only been released last week. Blah blah blah. Uh, it has now resulted in the same law firm in America. Chemicals, Schwartz, Kreiner, and Donaldson Smith adding Nintendo's latest version of the hybrid system to its class action lawsuit. In case you need reminding, this is the lawsuit that was filed against Nintendo of America for the Switch Joy-Con drifting issues. We've talked about this before. Um, according to Polygon, the lawsuit now contains allegations from social media, like the one below, about users experiencing drift issues not long after the launch of the new model. Here's a direct quote. I beat Link's Awakening over the weekend on my original Switch Lite system. I had only put like 20-something hours into it, and it started the show Joy-Con Drift. Not good. Uh, the first, the firm lists 18 plaintiff ca cases across 16 different states in America in the lawsuit. Shortly after the lawsuit was originally filed, Nintendo released a statement explaining how it was aware of the recent reports. This is back when they uh, filed the, the original Joy-Con stuff. Uh, here on Nintendo Life, we ran a poll asking about a lot. The majority said they had not had problems so far. And you can see the results of the poll yourself. Now, this is interesting when you look at the results of the poll. On, um, um, actually, I've had... I've had Joy-Con Drift. Um, how they only had about 25% of their audience uh, that had not had, you know, that had experienced Joy-Con Drift, which, by the way, 25% is a pretty large number. When I did a similar poll on my social media, um, on Twitter and YouTube, I actually saw it much higher, like 60% of my audience. But again, different audiences. Uh, Nintendo Life's audience is much larger than mine as well, so I would think they have a much larger sample size. I mean, they had they had only you know about 16, 60 votes. So I think I had more total votes than that. But um, different audiences, different experiences. Uh, it's hard to know how widespread Joy-Con drift is in the Nintendo Switch Lite, uh, but it's obviously happening enough to be added to a, the class action lawsuit, uh, which obviously seeks to get refunds and more than anything seeks to get Nintendo to pay attention to what's going on and fix it um because it's a little ridiculous that we're sitting here in 2019 and uh nintendo has not yet fixed the entire issue with a new design stick now we also know that nintendo of america internally passed around an email uh to their support reps uh saying that hey look anyone who calls with a joy con drift issue Fix it for free. doesn't matter if it's out of warranty. Uh, if it's someone who we charged before, um, give them a refund, all that. Uh, and that's been confirmed through many, many people who have already contacted Nintendo of America. Unfortunately, it appears to just be Nintendo of America that have done that. Uh, and we don't know if it applies yet to Switch Lite, but we also don't have to worry about if it applies to Switch Lite yet because Switch Lite has a year warranty from Nintendo, so it's going to be covered from now until September 20th of next year. That being said... Uh, I honestly think, well, I mean, if you bought it on launch, I guess. Obviously, it's a year from when you buy the product. Um, but that's neither here nor there. The point is that uh, this is a problem. This is one of the biggest hardware flaws Nintendo has had in the history of their company. And the fact that they launched an entirely new platform with non-detachable controllers and didn't fix it for that launch, that's pretty damning. Uh, and Nintendo, of course, isn't admitting. They're acknowledging there's a problem, but they're not admitting fault. And they're not going to admit fault because that can lead to even more lawsuits that Nintendo knowingly released a, a, a broken product uh, that would not survive quality test standards, uh, what would be considered an average length of survival for the product. 
and thus uh, forcing consumers to spend more and more money. Uh, that's actually an anti-consumer practice. Uh, there are some companies out there that do that with some products, some cheaper products uh, that they're not meant to last for very long, but those are not meant to last long. Usually an electronic product has like a three-year-ish window where it's supposed to just work uh, for three years, uh, but drifting obviously is a sign of not working, not functioning, not lasting that three years. So, uh, and, and and this this varies device to device, of course. You know, whatever. Maybe Nintendo only said you can get a year out of it, but people aren't even getting a year before they're experiencing these drifting issues. So, I honestly think that um, this just sucks. Um, it it kind of puts a damper on the Switch Lite launch, and I can understand if this makes you a little tepid in purchasing a Switch Lite. Now, it's important to note that obviously a vast majority of Switch Lite owners don't have drifting issues right now, nor should they. They haven't had the system long enough. If you bought a brand new Switch, you should not have drifting issues like in the first couple of months you had the platform. You might, but you shouldn't. That's not typical. What is typical is after six months or so of, you know, if you're someone who plays your Switch a lot, that you tend to wear it on the pads and get drifting issues. Uh, I expect that to be the case with Switch Lite here, where as we get further and further out from launch, more and more people who bought it at launch are going to start to have issues. I don't know how how many of them. I don't know if it'll be a smaller percentage, uh, but it, it's still going to be a significant amount, uh, significant enough to be added to the class action lawsuit. So I honestly think that this is um crappy for consumers uh kind of good for nintendo in a way because people will buy more products but also bad for nintendo because this tarnishes the reputation i think we all know that nintendo has a reputation as just a hardware manufacturer of even if it's an underpowered system even if it's wonky with two screens like it's still a high quality product it's still designed like a tank can take a beating i mean heck this is the original ds back there one of the og ds's and still works you know, that's one of those fat DSs, man, way back in the day. Still works like a charm. Nothing wrong with it. And the hinge isn't even broken. And the hinge is obviously the weak point in any hinge system is the hinge. And the hinge isn't even broken. And that's an OG DS that I have put in hundreds, if not thousands of hours into. So uh, it's crazy to me just to think that uh, Nintendo is kind of ruining their hardware reputation with Switch a little bit. Uh, and this is in addition to all the problems that the OG Switch had. You know, there was the left Joy-Con connection issues that they quickly fixed and admitted fault to. Uh, admitted fault to something. Look at that. And then they fixed them. Uh, they also have had the, the whole battery expansion where the battery was kind of getting bigger and, and blowing out the back. There was also the overheating issues and bend gate uh, with Switch. And we, there's just been a lot of hardware flaws that we're just not used to seeing from Nintendo. Having an occasional issue like a hinge breaking is one thing. Um, having uh, several different major issues with Switch is another. Now, granted, we haven't heard of any other major issues with Switch Lite to this point. It's too early, I think, to really have, you know, hey, is the battery going to expand? Well, we're not going to know yet. That's going to take time. Does, is it going to overheat? We're not going to know. That's going to take time. So I think there's a lot of unknowns with the Switch Lite in terms of its durability. Uh, in theory, should be more durable than the original Switch, but the drifting issue isn't really going to get better just because the controllers are attached when they're the same design. So uh, this is just something that I hope Nintendo addresses. I think we all hope they address it. I thought we hoped they would address it in the Switch revision and then ad address it in the, the Switch Lite, and they still haven't. And uh, we're heading here, you know, we're, we're getting close to the end of, of three full years on the market and uh, heading into year four, and Switch still has this major design flaw uh, that Nintendo isn't publicly addressing. So I, I just hope that... Uh, this changes for the Switch Pro, the next generation Switch. Um, I, I mean, it doesn't prevent me from playing Switch because I think the library is so fantastic. I mean, heck, we got Luigi's Mansion 3 coming up here. Just had Link's Awakening and Dragon Quest 11. So, like, the library on Switch is so amazing that I can't just not play Switch. But um, I understand that this gives you pause until Nintendo addresses it, if they ever address it this generation. Uh, it's starting to feel like Nintendo might never address the actual design flaw and that's going to suck for the longevity of the platform because even once we move on to the next generation people are going to want to collect uh you know switches from the past and their libraries and, and preserve them and it's going to get harder and harder and harder to find joy cons and, and and all that stuff once they're not being made anymore that aren't broken um obviously third-party knockoff replacement sticks will always exist but still uh people who want an original quality undamaged switch with the joy cons is going to be pretty difficult to find say 10 20 30 years from now so uh, and that's crazy because i still think 10 20 30 years from now finding working nes's with working controllers is not going to be a problem uh, so 
I hope Nintendo finds a way to resolve this before the end of the generation, even if it takes until the Nintendo Switch Pro. Anyways, folks, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I have some additional speculation I want. I kind of want to throw out there uh, in some future videos. I still I still want to talk about the value of games. I'm working on a video for that. Uh, and I also want to kind of talk about the Switch Pro a little bit, believe it or not. Um, I, I got some, not necessarily new information, but some thoughts based on old information uh, that hasn't come to fruition yet. And what's happening with that? Because some of this information isn't even speculation. It's like officially announced by major companies. Uh, so there, there, there's some more stuff to get into here that hopefully I get into later this week. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in on this Sunday. I hope you had an amazing day. I hope if you're watching NFL games that your team wins or, or, or what have you. And uh, love you all. And I'll see you in the next video.